Let's get to our last topic. After just one week of being a part of the Bureau of Land Management Agency, William Perry Penley is now the top political official overseeing it. Penley's hiring comes just one week after the Interior Department announced plans to relocate BLM's headquarters from Washington, D.C. to Grand Junction, Colorado. Uh, Natasha, uh, William Penley must have one heck of a LinkedIn page. What do you think? Well, it's, it's quite the trajectory. Um, another controversial appointment, on, and there will be a lot to, lots to discuss about that. Um, I think the more interesting angle here is to say welcome to the BLM, BLM employees that are coming to Colorado. It's a great state. I think they'll, they'll enjoy it. Um, that move is, is interesting for Colorado. You know, uh, city and, and state spend a lot of time looking at economic development and how you can bring major businesses to a city or a state. In this case, we're bringing um, a political uh, a branch and, that, and that's interesting because it's the type of thing that could stimulate some growth in our rural communities and what better place to have conversations about our public lands um, than in Colorado. Patty, uh, DC's loss is Grand Junction's gain. I don't know how many times I'll be able to say that in my lifetime. I'm glad I had this opportunity. Uh, what do you think about the big move and William Penley's big move to the top? Well, we have to remember the big move became a lot littler after the initial announcement. It turns out only 27 jobs are going to Grand Junction. Even the Grand Junction Sentinel had to backpedal on its laudatory um, editorial. Let's not forget David Bernhard, who was the head of the Department of the Interior, who's from Rifle, was working at Brownstein Hyatt. Um, he's about to have his recusal for being involved in cases run out in August. So we're going to keep, be keeping a close eye on both Mr. Bernhard and William Perry Penley. David, uh, big decisions about the, when I think about the Bureau of Land Management, think about large tracts of land, especially out here in the West. Is it a good thing at least a few people are going to be located out here? Will that make a difference? Well, it's a good thing. Perry Penley is going to be one of them because he's eminently qualified. He was an official with the Department of Interior and under the Reagan administration, uh, then for decades head, head of the Mountain States Legal Foundation, a public interest law firm that protects the rights of farmers and ranchers and other, other property owners in the West. Um, and so he, he's superbly well qualified. Uh, some people worry, and, and he believes that BLM land and public land in general belongs to the public and is meant to be not treated like some museum, but it's, it's supposed to be used by the public. And that includes hikers and recreation and also includes hunters and, and uh, use of natural resources. Um, on his idea that he, he favors off selling the enormous amounts of federal land that are held in the West, Whatever the merits of the idea, I don't think it's going to get that far. And the reason is Donald Jr. and Eric Trump are both very avid hunters. And they're not in favor of selling off public land, which could reduce uh, hunting access. Ian, wrap it up for us on the big moves of the BLM. I think Patty said it pretty well. I mean, this was Cory Gardner's big moment to do a great thing, bring a huge, expensive government office with a bunch of government employees out to Colorado, and you could hear the pop of heads from Grand Junction once again. Reading the editorials that Patty um, mentioned, the first one was um, like, it, this is a complete game changer for our community. It's going to be the best thing ever. The very next day, they had to walk it back, and their, uh, the headline for it was, BLM move, still a coup managing all those expectations. So I, I think it's kind of funny that, you know, Republicans, conservatives, Cory Gardner, decide that, like, this is their big thing to have a giant federal expenditure. It's not cheap to move an entire office, build a giant new building out there. I don't, I, I feel for the people of Grand Junction, they've been disappointed before, Jordan Cove, you know, there's other projects that are, that are promised and never come to fruition. I think, unfortunately, this is another place they've been let down where 27 jobs, I mean, the majority of them are coming to Lakewood. 